I know, y'all. I know. <laughs> this is the life of an artist. <laughs> Sometimes I look at it and it really depresses me. And other times I look at it and I'm like, you're so brilliant. <laughs> yeah, that's why everything's cluttered. And I tell myself that eventually, you always got to get in my way. You always got to get in my way. I'm going to play chords you don't like. She's like wagging her tail in my face. Yeah, and now you want to be part of the song. Fuck you, bitch. Get the fuck on. <laughs> She's like, no, I will not get on. Those are so sad. They are really sad. Let's go back to the C chord. Mm-mm. Too dark, too dark. <laughs> These are the ones that I started with. They're kind of like wacky chords, you know, like not, they sound dark, but they, there's like this sort of like, I don't know, kind of sexy appeal. That black key. But that sounds like a video game, doesn't it? Yes, this is the 80s. You can pretend. Whenever you watch my channel, you can pretend that this is the 80s. <laughs> well, that's when I was born. November 28th, 1985. Thanksgiving Day, but hey, 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 my mama didn't want me. <laughs> she didn't but somebody adopted me a couple weeks later this is so bad I know <laughs> but it's fun that's why we do it because it's fun this is just me letting you into my world. So you shouldn't take it for granted, girl, friend. <laughs> girl, friend, yeah. They are more of a girl than they are a friend, right? So true. Oh, that was my stomach growling. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, my mom did that cross stitch. Yes, that's when women used to do stuff. Remember that? My mom doesn't do stuff anymore. It's really sad. But, like, I feel like when the boomer generation was, like, our age, or maybe younger than that, like, when they were at their prime, like, they were so happy. You know, like, I was looking at, like, pictures of my parents, like, at their wedding, and they were just so in love, you know? Now they hate each other. Most people hate things eventually. They thought they loved those things, but then life happened. And they got bored, yeah, they got bored, yeah, they got bored. And they watch TV, yeah, they watch TV, they always watch TV. What else would they do? Just think about this. If you do, 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 your husband used to be husband. Now it's boyfriend or maybe baby daddy. Um, you complain about all the video games they play. Are you complain about them going on the golf course? But hey, they're getting exercise. <laughs> 
Even if they sit in the golf cart the majority of the time. You know, it's okay. My dad plays golf, I can say that. I'm actually good at golf, y'all. Who knew? Who knew? <laughs> well, it's an interesting uh, sport there. I don't know why you'd watch it, though. Like, my dad is super into sports. Like, he can watch any sport. So, he's somewhat of my inspiration behind that joke. Well, yeah, sports are just kind of ridiculous. I mean, I get it. Like, if you love games, you love games. But the real game is what they're doing to us, and they don't want us to know that it's a game for them. It is. But think about it. Think about how much power they have. Every single time that somebody watches something and they think it's real, but it's actually fake. It's actually rigged. You know? I mean, hello. Election time every time. Not just this past time. Ah. No, no, no. These are really bad chords. These are really bad chords. We gotta change it. I don't... I don't really want to do uh, this... Uh... Can you hear that? It's Tupac, baby. Yeah, what if he wasn't even real? You know? I think about this. About uh, people that I really like. It's okay. He's real to me. He's real to me because you see that picture? This is how powerful pictures are, y'all. See, he's staring at me. He's staring at me. And he's toasting me. Okay? I believe that because I want to believe that. But I know that I want to believe that. Most people that look at a picture, they don't know what's happening to them. They don't know most of the time what's ever happening to them or anyone. Gross stuff. That's right. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I love these stickers, they're so funny. Planet Cool. Some I notice, y'all. I think I, future pro. <laughs> Sassy is correct. <laughs> Does that say fart? <laughs> yeah, see this is why. I love being a kid, my childhood ended a long time ago, yes it did. I don't think I had a childhood, that's why I gotta find one right now. And that's how I look at schizophrenia. <laughs> I'm just reliving my childhood that I never had. quite disconcerting that I'm convinced I'm still convinced I'll always be convinced that nobody else thinks about these things but me does that make me arrogant well I think you're an American I came up with that term for Americans I think it's pretty good damn it <laughs> Americans I keep thinking of that really shitty, like, would-be, wannabe Italian restaurant, Amerigo's. See, that's the thing. Like, Americans think that they can, like, redo other people's cultures. <laughs> this is the corporate conglomerate version of an Italian food restaurant, you know? You take the heart out of America. That's why you're Amera. Ha, ha, ha. I don't want to say these things, I'd rather feel differently about my country because it's still my country, even though people would claim that I don't deserve to be here because of my opinions that I hold dear, which you know are facts. <laughs> facts, 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 they love to subtract anything that sounds abstract because it doesn't go along with their worldview that they've been told to have. And because 
Cause they buy what they're sold They're a fit to be had Because it doesn't satisfy them Ever, 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 ever Motherfucking ever uh. I can't believe that my priest thinks that I'm defiling people's ears and their minds by just using the word motherfucker. I mean, yeah, I guess the image that it puts in your mind is dirty, right? This is pushing the envelope, and it's okay. But we gotta push the envelope in all kinds of ways. Not just one way, not just five ways, but all the ways, all the ways, all the ways that I haven't even heard about, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> we invent the ways, invent the ways. We take something bad and revamp it, make it good. That's what I'm doing. Oh, explain that to him. Explain that to him. What's, uh, well, <laughs> it's understood for me, but not for people that don't know me. But I'm not looking for the typical Christians. I'm not looking for the ones that already found him. Jesus is by me swearing up a storm, then I'll swear up a storm, and then another storm, and then another storm. You're gonna say it's porn, but it's not, I promise you just don't understand the context, so I have to just cry this out. I always cry everything out. Then I need another bucket, I need another bucket, then I say fuck it. They don't care, they don't care, they don't care, no they don't care. You can't care when you're unaware of other people. Ho, 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 ho. Was that, was that in tune? I don't know, it's okay. My stomach just growled again though. I gotta wait though. I gotta wait. Because I'm taking in the blood and body of Jesus Christ. So I have to starve myself for that sacrifice. Think about all the things I used to do. I think about the way that I would run through the thought and impulse. I'd go and get it. I wouldn't think about the end result. But then I got a little older and I got tired of making excuses for bad behavior. I see nobody seems to be held accountable, 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 accountable. Everybody's doing the same thing. Yeah, everybody's doing the same thing. So you can't really complain about these people over here doing exactly what you're doing over there, but a twisted provision of it. You all have a smartphone. You're all hooked on the internet. Where else would you get your dopamine? And up until the internet, you didn't know what dopamine was. That's why they take advantage. Cause you let them. Yes, you let them. You let them. You let them. He's inspiring this, y'all. Whoever he is, wherever he is. <laughs> Maybe I'll meet him in Cuba, man. That'd be cool. I have this friend of mine who lives in Cuba. We call him Cuba. Because his name is Alberto, and there's another Alberto that works 
with us, who's also from south of the border. Imagine that. But Cuba is from Cuba. Alberto is from Mexico. And they're both my favorite workers. Even though they sexually harass me. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We put up with it every time. Why, 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 why? Because they're Latino. <laughs> it's true, though. Hey, I know they'd have my back. If I have, like, some white dude sexually harass me, they'd probably, like, run for the hills if there was, like, some gunman that, like, came in and, like, tried to shoot up the place. I know that, like, a Latino or a black dude would totally have my black, right? Why are white men so afraid? I think it's the technology. I, I think that, like, real masculine men... You know, they they totally have it. They're totally protective. But now, because of technology, it's ruined men. Technology, like all the crap food, all the pharmaceuticals. Once again, like what's ruined women? It's just ruined us in different ways. Oh, I like that one. No, these are way too high. These are like annoying. These are annoying. I'm telling you, it's annoying. <laughs> it's cute, though. It's so cute. It's like a music box. Uh, I kind of want to go higher. Too high. Too high. Ah, oh, perfecto. It's so cute. This reminds me of a song from the 80s. I don't know which one, though, because they're all the same. <laughs> but yeah, man. So shout out to... Uh, well, what was your favorite... Uh, I don't know. 85 when I was born. <laughs> that was the same year that, um, I'm trying to think like really awesome albums came out that year. Um, Jimmy Cliff, Cliffhanger. <laughs> Isn't that clever? <laughs> if you like reggae. Um, and then what else? Oh, Kate Bush. Kate Bush came out with an amazing album. Uh, that, that really well-known album. I can't think of the name of it right now. And I'm not looking it up on the internet. I'm just gonna challenge my brain and ask it questions and make it think and remember stuff. We don't have a hippocampus, so this is gonna be tough. Uh, <laughs> hippocannabis. <laughs> That's a funny ass joke, dude. <laughs> I need to perfect that. I'm gonna do that shit, because I'm going to do comedy at Kelsey's mic tomorrow at Twin Cakes 2 once again. Dude, did I tell y'all this story? I think I was fixing to tell y'all this story and I didn't. Say bye to Tupac. Say bye to Tupac. He just said goodbye to you. Okay? That's what that meant. <laughs> Man. I didn't tell y'all about two things that happened recently. Um. Hopefully we're going to remember the name of that Kate Bush album. We could just go upstairs and get it, because we have it. I want to remember. I want to remember, damn it. Um, Hounds of Love. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that is it. Did that, uh... If I only could, I'd make a deal with God. And I would ask to swap our places. Be running up that road. Be running up that hill. I can't. 
I'm trying. I'm trying so hard and failing, and I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was so embarrassing, but I had to do it. Just listen to the song. How about that? If you don't know anything about Kate Bush, look up the album Hounds of Love, 1985, the same year yours truly was born, okay? It's a really, really good album. And that song, Running Up That Hill, like, I think it's one of her most popular songs. Um, and it's so cool because it's about God, you know, like, she's just like presenting this concept that a lot of people probably don't think about. And her voice is just so awesome and authentic and her lyrics are really interesting. And she's an artist. She's definitely an artist. Anyway, I need to get into her more, actually. Let me write that down. Kate Bush. For my, like, what, fifth or sixth box of CDs, if I can afford it. Now watch me not pay another bill also I can buy another box of CDs. That's totally me. And that electricity goes out, right? <laughs> we got all these batteries, though, because, like I said, we're still, like, so old school, man. It's like... It's whatever time you want it to be. PTSD taught me that. That's one of the perks of it. Anyway... Yeah, so this is, we're in the 80s right now, y'all. Welcome to the 80s. Um, we're just going to focus on, on stuff that's from the 80s. So not that boombox over there. That doesn't exist, okay? Don't you miss the ones from the 90s? Like the those big-ass boomboxes? Well, I guess those are from the 80s, actually. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. But, you know, technology is technology. Like, I wonder if, like, I had grown up, like, say I were, like, around, like, more conscious in the 80s. I wasn't just born in the 80s. Like, what if I was, like, a teenager or older? Would I be, like, really into that technology or would I feel the way that I do about the technology now? Because, like, I hate smartphones, y'all. If you don't know already, I still have a flip phone. I never upgraded my phone because fuck that shit. I hate that. I think society is too stupid to have the internet at their fingertips. The internet is way too powerful of a tool, so naturally they're going to use it as a weapon, okay? Society is stupid. Like, how much evidence of this do we need? How much evidence do you need that society does not give a fuck about itself or its well-being? That's why society has a hell being, because they're being possessed by the devil. Anyway... What were we talking about? You were trying to tell them stories. Oh, yeah, so... They said... Oh, yeah, I went to my appointment about my... Um, my kneecaps... That I banged into the steering wheel... Um, when I got T-boned, because I pulled out in front of somebody, like a good woman should. And, uh... Yeah... We shouldn't be given a license, but we are, we have it, and we still have a license despite of totaling two vehicles. This accident was way worse than the last one, obviously, because um, that happened in July, and uh, I guess six, seven months later, like, I'm still in pain because my knees haven't healed. I had a blood clot. I don't have it anymore, but he said that... Um, he didn't need to do anything to him. He said they would heal. Which kind of pissed me off because I was like, dude, I wanted, I want you to do something. I don't. <laughs> I don't just come to the doctor to get told, like, yeah, we don't, we don't have any information for you. Like, <laughs> this is why I didn't want to go because they, I've always said doctors don't know anything. And they have all these tools. So they're like, oh, it, it's fine, you know. The tools, the tools have told them that there's nothing wrong. Like, this is natural because I was in a car accident, so I just have to wait and be in pain. And it reminds me of this Louis C.K. joke where he was talking about, like, you know, fucking up your leg. And he's like, yeah, that's just life. <laughs> that's so fucking true. You, like, injure yourself. But, I mean, it's true, like, mentally. You know, don't focus on my... F no, fuck that. I know, I know some weirdos like, oh... Oh, please, please do more shots of your feet in, in, in socks. Do that. You know, I will, I will show you a brief, 
That that's me. We don't we don't uh, ever match our socks. If we do, it's very odd. Okay. We we often don't match our shoes either. Like you can definitely tell we're a schizotypal personality. Uh, just based off the way that we dress alone. Uh, but anyway. Yeah. So they told me that nothing was wrong. And that it was just healing, but it was going to take time and be painful. And same with my, my hip. So, Lord knows how, how much that whole procedure is going to cost me, but at least I have health insurance now. But anyway, I was going to tell you another story, too. What was it? Oh, that you, um... You lost your wallet. Or your... Your money container. Yeah, I keep, I keep uh, stuff that's important in like a container of like tampons and it's just I have all this random stuff in there like BC powder and a spoon and like like a little plastic spoon <laughs> just it looks like an emergency kit you know like a woman kit like I might need this stuff <laughs> or just a schizo kit really like this is a survival tampons BC powder plastic spoon you know <laughs> And then I have my money. But people don't know that my money's in there because of that, you know? It's actually a really clever disguise. But anyway, I left that shit. I predicted that I would leave it at the bar, and then I did. And I didn't realize that until the next day. So. I was really upset with myself. But then it was all worth it because it was like, there were so many... No, I don't shave. I don't shave, baby. Are you mad? Are you mad about that, bruh? Are you mad? See, if you were my husband and you told me to, I would. But then I would give you a lecture. Because I'm not going to stop being, you know, this chatty schizo. You know, I get that women talk a lot, though, and it's annoying. But I promise I say interesting things. And if I can tell you're not interested, don't worry, honey. I'll walk away. Bye-bye. <laughs> but anyway... Yeah, I got a too strong of a personality. I think that most people just don't have that strong of a personality. So I'm a pretty intense person. And I know that shit. But anyway, yeah, I, so I left my wallet. And, uh, or what essentially is my wallet. What operates as my wallet. A makeshift wallet. Okay. Um, it's a disguise. It's a wallet in disguise. <laughs> yes. A wallet that is shrouded in a fortress of tampons. Yes. Yes, it's beautiful. Do y'all like that? You like my ridiculous art? I just pick up random pieces of art and I like them. So true. Guess what, y'all? Jesus Christ is that icing. All right? <laughs> That's my favorite thing that I've acquired from former roommates. The first apartment that I ever stayed at, that, that was a painting that was given to me by the landlord. She kicked me out because I smoked too much. Understandable. I do smoke too much. I quit, though. I quit smoking everything. Even marijuana, y'all. It's been like a month. And that's Leo. That's Leo when he was, like, 18. And this is me when I'm 37. Do I look 37? How old do I look? I, I Well, my soul is like 8,000 years old. No, actually, my soul is as old as time because I'm eternal. But I know, like, my head, I've been noticing my head, and it's annoying me. <laughs> like, you ever notice yourself, and you're like, man, I have an obnoxiously large forehead. Well, I've always been, like, somewhat conscious of that. But I'm like, just get over it, bitch. It's not that big of a deal. Don't be vain. Don't be vain. I can't stand vanity. It's annoying quality. But yeah, my hair. I need to put olive oil in my hair. I hear that that helps it. Aw, she said, no, put me on your head. Put me on your head. You got a kitty head. It's better than a baseball cap. <laughs> no, but baseball caps are a huge part of it. Y'all know how much I love hats. I wear hats all the time. But yeah, so I left my wallet at the bar, and I retrieved it. But I had, like, a meltdown. That was, like, what triggered me to have the meltdown, but it was really for another reason. You know. You know that story. 
if you ever get upset and triggered, it's usually something else that's doing it. So keep that in mind. Pull up the root of the problem and you'll definitely cry a lot more, but hey, it's better than just running away like a little bitch. <laughs>